Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 6th of 2020, well, it is titled M16, Pillars of Star Creation. So what do we see here? Well, this is a famous image known and object in space known as the Pillars of Creation. And we see the fingers stretching up here. And those are dark, dusty areas where stars are forming. Now, where within them are the stars forming? Well, the stars that are just at the end of their lives, just beginning, or sorry, just at the beginning of their lives, are the ones at the very peaks of the various regions here. So right at the top, those are the densest areas, and you can see lots of little tendrils sticking out, not just the major fingers pointing out up, but you can see lots of other little ones scattered around, and those are, at the peaks of those, are the densest area where stars are forming right now. Now what happens when the stars form is that as they do form, they begin to eat away at the material around it. So the material around them, the less dense areas, gets eaten away and pushed back. And that's what's cleaned out the material in between the fingers sticking up here or the pillars sticking out. And that is, those were the less dense regions, but the more dense regions remain behind because there's more material there. And it's better protected from the energy uh, from, of the stars that have formed. Now over time those stars will continue to eat away and as new stars form they will continue that as well. So if you could come back in tens of millions of years the pillars of star creation here would no longer look like this. They would be changed by those stars that have formed. So when we look at star forming regions, we're seeing constant changes. Things are never the same. And while they won't change generally within a human lifetime or even a 10 or a dozen human lifetimes, they will change over much longer periods of time. So stars will eat away and it's kind of a battle between the stars and the dust as to which one survives and in the end the stars are going to win and eventually push away the dust as new stars continue to form. However, deeper within these, more stars will still continue forming. So the star formation process goes on. And in fact, for stars forming also increase that by compressing more material together and enhancing the rate of star formation. And when some stars become supernovae and explode, sending shock waves out, they also then become the seed for new star material. So the star formation process will continue and in a galaxy like ours, it's been going on for 10 billion years and will continue for billions of years more. So that was our picture of the day for December the 6th of 2020. It was titled M16, Pillars of Star Creation. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.